Good morning. Today's lesson is 9.4. Graph relationships. Our essential question, how can you graph the relationship between two quantities? Connect. You have learned that tables and equations are two ways to represent the relationship between two quantities. You can also represent a relationship between two quantities by using a graph. Let's unlock the problem. A cafeteria has a pancake making machine. The table shows the relationship between the time and hours and the number of pancakes the machine can make. Graph the relationship represented by the table. Use the table values to graph the relationship. So in one hour, we make 200 pancakes. In two hours, 400 pancakes. Three hours, 600. Four hours, 800. And in five hours, we make 1,000 pancakes. So let's write the ordered pair. Let x represent the time in hours, so the time in hours, and y is going to represent the number of pancakes made. Use each row in the table to, re to write the ordered pair. Number 1 was 200, 2 was 400, okay? 3 is 600, and it's 4 and 800, and then it's 5 and 1,000. Okay, next we're going to choose the approximate scale for each axis on the graph, and then we're going to label it. So we have pancake made, and then we have the time in hours. So we're going to do these um, in uh, one unit intervals because this is, you know, one, whoops, one, and then two, three, four, five. So we're going to label this three, four, five, six. And then we're going to do these in 200 in, um, intervals because we have 200, 400, 600, 800. So we're going to do 600, 800, and 1,000. So now we're going to graph our ordered pair. So the first number was 1 and 200, so we go over 1 and up 200. The next one was over 2 and up 400, right, because it's 2 and 400. The next one's 3 and 600, so I'm going to go over to 3 and then I'm going to go up to 600, all right? The next one is 4 and 800, so I'm going to go over to 4, and I'm going to go up to 800. And then the next one is 5 and 1,000, so I'm going to go over to 5, and I'm going to go up to 1,000. So you can see the pattern on this one is that it's a straight line. Whoops, if I did that right. Sorry, this one should have actually been right there, not there. So let's just get rid of that one. So it's a straight line going up. Okay, let's do another example. The table shows the relationship between the number of bicycles y, so the number of bicycles is going to be y, and that's on this side. Sean has left to assemble, and the number of hours, which is going to be x, which is this side. Um, the graph relationship represents the table to find the unknown value of y. So if we have 0 hours, 10, 1 hour, 8, 2 hours, not, we don't know, 3 hours was 4, and in four hours, we only had two left. So with no time remaining, we had 10, so that's how many we started with. After an hour, we only had eight left. After two hours, mm, an unknown value, we'll have to figure that one out. After three hours, we had four left, and after four hours, we only had two left. So first, let's write the ordered pairs. Use the row of tables to write the ordered pair and skip the row with the unknown value. So we have zero and 10, zero and 10. Now we're gonna do one and eight. So 1 and 8. The next one is 3 and 4 because we skipped the 2. And then the next one is 4 and 2. Okay. So now I'm going to graph them. So I'm going to go if 0 and 10 is my first number, there's my first point. The next one is 1 and 8. So I'm going to go over to 1 and I'm going to go up to 8. And then my next one is 2 and we don't know. So I'm going to leave that one. So I'm going to go over to 3 and 4. Okay. And then the next one, I'm going to go over 4, and I'm going to go up 2. Now, these are going in a straight line. I'm going to kind of connect my dots a little. Not the straightest line I've ever made. Sorry about that. But the neat thing about that is since the, this one right here with the unknown value was 2, where it intersects is right here with the 6. So I know that those points are 2 and 6. So when x has a value of 2, y has a value of 6. So after 2 hours, Sean will have 6 bicycles left to assemble. So describe another way that you could find the unknown value in the y table. Well, you could look for a pattern in the table. For each increase of 1, the value of x, the value of y decreased by 2. So that would be the rule, right, that we've been doing those in the past. Because x equals 8 when x equals 1, the value of y 
when x equals 2 is 8 minus 2 equals 6. So the rule would be minus 2 in that table or graph. Okay, let's just do a couple more examples. So first we need to fill we need to fill out the ordered pairs. So we have 1 and 50, which is already written here. The next one is 2 and 100, so we've got 2 and then it's going to go 100. The next one is 3 and 150, so 3 and 150. The next one is 4 and 200, so 4 and 200. Now I'm going to graph them. So I go over 1 and up 50, right? And then I go um, over 2 and I go up to 100. And then I go over 3 and I go up to 150. And then I go over 4 and I go up to 200. Okay, so that's all you're going to do. You may do the rest on your own or with a partner. And I'm always there for you as well. Good luck.